Hallelujah. Uh, tonight I am so excited to bring the word of God to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am not going to take much of time, but I, I felt this is what Holy Spirit wants me to speak to you guys tonight. So, when I was meditating, God spoke to me and yeah. Praise the Lord. Can we turn our Bibles to uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1. Verse 18. We thank you God. Can we all close our eyes before we go to this. Lord we thank you Jesus tonight. For you are here. And your spirit is here. We welcome you. To do your work in our lives. And we bring every imagination. To the obedience of Christ. So that the image of Christ. The fullness of Christ may be formed in us. master. That we may be. We may look like you when you see it as a master. That we may be transformed into the image, into the likeness of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight, we pray that you would minister us, minister your people, minister the way you ministered us, minister your people, so that your people will be blessed, O Master. We give you glory and honor and praise. I bring my thoughts, my imagination my soul, my spirit and my body, my emotions, everything into thy control so that you would flow through me. Let not any of my weakness hinder the work of the Holy Spirit here in this place. So I submit myself to the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. This charge I entrust to you, Timothy, my child, in accordance with the prophecies previously made about you, that by them you may wage the good warfare. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The prophecies that have been made about you, according to the prophecies that has been made about you, that you may wage Good warfare. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, uh, Timothy is a spiritual son of Paul. His favorite spiritual son. So, he's writing to Timothy when Timothy is the pastor of church of Ephesus. So, there's a church which is in Ephesus. And he, when Paul left, he made Timothy, the pastor of that church. Uh, Paul also ministered in that place, I think, for three years. Then he moved out. Timothy was the pastor over there, next pastor. And, and Paul was instructing all what the way he has, uh, the Timothy has to conduct himself and the way the church has to be organized. In chapter 2, chapter 3, we see everything that has to be done. And the way, you know, the church elders and the man of God, people who are in service, how they have to be. In chapter 4, we see how young people have to be. Chapter 4, verse 12. So, all these instructions. So, book of Timothy is more about instructions. Guidelines to the man of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As a believers, as a disciples of Jesus Christ, each and everybody have this these guidelines to follow. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And before you know, he gets into that place, this is the charge. I mean, he, he is, uh, he, he is uh, empowering Timothy to do good work. Before, you know, the way you have to do, the way you have to do all the work. Before he says anything, he is telling about the calling that Timothy had. When Timothy was called, he, you know, uh, the, the, uh, this verse says that so many prophecies have been prophesied over his life. So he was called prophetically by the uh, church elders or Paul and who, whoever uh, were leading at that time. So Timothy was prophesied on his life by this man of God. And Paul is reminding Timothy that you remember the prophecies that has been made to you. Praise the Lord. 
How many of you remember the prophecies that has been made over your life? There have been so many prophecies, na? So many prophecies that we forgot we don't have the number also. We run behind the prophecies but one, uh, one day, immediately after one day we forget the prophecy. So, Paul is saying that the prophecies that has been prophesied on you previously that you uh, that by them you may wage good warfare okay by the prophecies so in order for us to actually do what we have to continue to do is need to remember the words that that have been spoken on our lives amen hallelujah see actually the prophecy is the direction the prophecies that we get you know uh, I, i i don't want to tell you that you have to blindly believe the prophecy but you know when you when somebody prophesies over your life you have to check it with the word of god is it aligning with the word of god so when you get the confirmation by the spirit of god and by the word of god and when you have peace in your heart i think you can take that prophecy praise the lord because nowadays don't know i i don't know what is what, i am not here to criticize on somebody but we don't know their life and all what they do and uh um uh but they come up and prof- start prophesying some people you know when 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 they see somebody prophesying they they also feel like even i should prophesy and go they, they they start giving word because they feel that you know they are doing why can i why can't i do so you have to be a little careful Amen praise the lord so when you receive this prophecy what you have to do take that and align it with the word of god praise the lord hallelujah and when when you get that confirmation that the you know assurance from the spirit of god then you can take that and do the good warfare and so this prophecy is always a direction to the church amen hallelujah prophets are like the eyes of the church eyes of the body of christ they give the direction they look they can see hallelujah what is going to come what is going to happen hallelujah so these prophecies are like vision hallelujah prophecies they give us they give us direction to what we have to do are you getting me are you with me ardham aitunda so pravachanam anedi manaki oka darshanam laaga manaku oka guri laaga so most of the prophecies that has been prophesied sometimes if we if we just recollect that oh my god is this possible is this possible there will be mighty big big prophecies that oh my god i am am i going to do that Am I going to do that? Huh. But the motive of God is God will do it. He always wants to do it. But the, the main line is the prophecies should be the guideline for you to wage a good war. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if I get one prophecy I got to work I see warfare and a good warfare it is not a normal thing so prophecies are you know it's like dreams it's like things which which are not natural so when when somebody prophesies over our lives they can see the things when men of god can prof- when of men of god prophesies over our life they can see what is go- what god is going to do in your life and through your life the way god is going to lift you up and the, the way that god is going to you know do mighty things through you if you are, are with him if you are in his will these mighty things they will come into pass only with a good warfare so that you may wage a good warfare hallelujah so so the prophecies are there but it is not a magic prophecies are there it is not a magic prophecies will be there but prophecies cannot you know 
bring forth you know something easily it is the direction so that you would work harder to get to that place artham aitunda so pravachanam cheppen gaane edo itla jarigipothadi idi idi pedda di adbhutam aipothadi ani kaadu but the thing is when god prophesies over our lives he can see from infinity to the infinity so god can see our end actually and he brings that end into present and show that you have to go to that place this is what i want you to become so this end i want you to reach and this is my will for you most of the time we when god reveals that and we get that and we are just okay one day i'll become that but we stop doing the good warfare hallelujah pravachanam raavadamu goppa sangathi gaadu aa pravachanamu neravercha badu laguna manamu prayasa padda good warfare ki telugu lo em word undo chudandi manchi poratam anta oh my god hallelujah it's not the work work is not a warfare but warfare is something else something greater than work something greater than my ability something warfare is like you know i might die if i do that i'm in the risk of my life if i do that so manchi poratam poradalante poratam anedi yuddham yuddham yuddha bhoomi lo unnattu hallelujah so nenu chachipodanakaina ready undali hallelujah so nowadays people are people are thinking the prophecy is only you know good things that are going to happen you going to become rich you got to get two good cars two good uh, buildings ha huh? and only one wife <laughs> okay i'm just kidding but prophecies have become you know like this but the actual essence of prophecy is fulfillment of the will of god hallelujah nijamaina pravachanam entante devini chitta erigi dantlo munduku saagadam aa chittanni teliya cheyadam aa chittamlo kona saagadam hallelujah are you with me ardham aitunda praise the lord so just as i'm as i'm preaching to you just remember what are the prophecies that have been spoken over your life or the promises that god has given when you are meditating or when when somebody is preaching you felt that word was was just for me just recollect those moments because you're going to do that from today hallelujah amen mana jeevithamlo devudu vittina pravachana vaakulu lekapothe vaagdanalu ఎవరన్నా వచ్చి మన జీవితంలో ప్రవచించడం ఇవన్నీ ఒకవేళ మీ జీవితంలో జరుగుంటే రీకలెక్ట్ దాట్ ఒకవేళ మీరు వాక్యం చదువుతుంటే దేవుడు మీతో ఒక విషయం మాట్లాడి ఉంటే వాటి గురించి మీరు జ్ఞాపకం తెచ్చుకోండి ఫ్రైస్ ద లాడ్ హాల్ లూయ మనము వాటిని నెరవేర్చడానికి వాటి గురించి మంచి పోరాటము పోరాడవలసిన వారమై ఉన్నాము ఏ మ్యాన్ హాల్ లూయ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ మంచి పని కాదు మంచి పోరాటము యునో వార్ఫేర్ ఈజ్ యునో ఇట్స్ లైక్ స్టాన్ it's it, uh, you know do it's like you know ready to die warfare bleeds it is not easy it bleeds it bleeds hallelujah raktam chindinchadaniki kuda sindhanga undali hallelujah ante uh you పోరాటము వచ్చేటప్పటికి ఇట్స్ నాట్ జస్ట్ వర్క్ మనం దిన దిన దినం చేసే పని లాంటిదే కాదు ఇట్స్ వే బియాండ్ వాట్ వీ ఫిజికలీ కెన్ డూ మనము ఫిజికల్ గా చేయగలిగిన దానికంటే ఎంతో ఉన్నతమైనది అది ఫ్రైస్ ద లాడ్ హాలే లూయ ఉన్నతమైన పోరాటం అది హాలే లూయ ఫ్రైస్ ద లాడ్ పోరాడు చిన్నప్పుడు రక్తం కారుతుంది హాలే లూయ ప్రైజ్ దట్స్ వై పాల్ సేజ నువ్వు పాపముతో పోరాడుటలో ఇంకా రక్తము కార్చినంతగా పోరాడలేదంట ఓ 
so this is actual prophecy that you may wage a good warfare hallelujah so paul is telling paapamuto nivu poraadutalo raktamu kaarunantaga inka poraadaledu so that is our battle that is our warfare that you know raktamu chindina mana saakshuluga undi devuni chittam neraverchali even if it bleeds even if we die even whatever happens to us we got to stand in the battle ground hallelujah and fight the good fight for jesus hallelujah so paul is saying remember the prophecy that has been prophesied over your life and let that prophecies empower you to do the good warfare hallelujah when when god came and told gideon that you are a mighty man of valor that was a prophecy he was not a mighty man of valor gideon ki nu bala parakramam galigina vaada shura ani devudu vachi antadu but he was actually afraid at that time he was hiding behind that you know uh, wine press gaanuga chaatuna daasukoni unnadu ayana pirigi vaaduga daasukoni unnadu but the prophecy was you are mighty man of valor new parakrama shali aina vaada antunnadu devudu and that is a prophecy so you can do all things if i am telling that that is a prophecy that should empower you you should take that word and have to wage a good warfare hallelujah you can do all things through christ who strengthens you that doesn't mean that you don't have to do anything it means you have to do you have to do a warfare it doesn't come easily hallelujah are you with me so the prophecies every year you know we get the promise card and all the promises so these things should enable us to go forward hallelujah and do a good warfare let god revive your spirit let god remind bring all those promises into your mind right now into your spirit let let those spirit uh, let, let those promises let those prophecies our pravachanalu our vagdanalu mimmalni repunu gaaka ee samayamulo let it revive your soul let it revive your spirit so that you would wage a good warfare nivu manchi poratamu poradu laguna neeku devudu ichina prati vagdanamu prati pravachanamu nivu repunu gaaka hallelujah 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 so when we cannot take a prophecy as a something kind of a blessing but it is a guideline for us to do go what what way we are going so when paul before paul was being uh, uh, captive paulo bandimpa padaku mundu i think the daughters of philip they will be prophesying to paul paul meeda pravachanalu cheptuntaru paulu nu vellaku nu velthe maranamu neeku ponchi unnadi you will die you will be beaten i can see you are beaten so th- these people are prophesying to paul that you will get you know buildings and all no this is actually prophecy so they can see what is going to come and paul is prepared for that now paul is telling i am prepared i will not stop whatever may happen i have to go there praise the lord to be imprisoned but because he was imprisoned because he was made captive he could stand in front of the emperors and testify the name of jesus sir the emperor says how easily you are trying to make me a christian the emperor of rome says the, the same very word inta suluga nanu christavudu ni christavudu ga marchadaniki chustunna antadu because that prophecy enabled him to go and pass through the test and he was doing a good warfare and he went with the, with the you know with the with the uh, shackles what do you call them chains with the chains to the 
to the emperor and he could testify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 These prophecies are the direction for the battle that we are going to do. The warfare that we are going to do. Hallelujah. And God calls us mighty man of valor. Hallelujah. When God called this, this person... A mighty man of valor. He was a timid person. He was afraid of everything. He was afraid of Midianites. Midian ilu gurin chayana bai padthu unadi giddi onu. Hallelujah. But God prophesied that you are going to lead people to victory. You are going to set the people captive. Set all these people free from these um, Midianites. Hallelujah. And this man uh, led the battle. Hallelujah. He took that 400 people and did the battle. Battle for the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It takes ordinary people, uh, but with the prophecies of God uh, and with the war, the, uh, and when we wage the good warfare. Hallelujah. This is what Gideon was doing. Hallelujah. Gideon angels nado aina. Manch poratum poradinad. Hallelujah. Kabati aina jayamupondinado. Amen. Praise the Lord. These prophecies have to enable you. So this is what Paul is telling to uh, Timothy. Uh, if you turn your Bibles to Timothy chapter 4, 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 14. Do not neglect your gift which was given you through a prophetic message. When body of elders laid their hands on you. Do not neglect the gift you have. Which was given you by a prophecy. So the gifts that has been given to us by prophecy. In, in this version it says prophetic message. Prophecy with the council of elders. Hallelujah. So, they will come in our lives with the prophecy, the gifts of God. Mana jivitam lo pravachanatma kamaina vakudwara, lepote parishudulu, lepote peddalu, devinis sevakul varyoka, hastamulu, mana talalamida unshina put, hallelujah, hastanik shapana chesina putu, devin yoka krupa varma mana loniki was to the amen, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And Paul is telling, do not neglect. Do not neglect the gift that you have received by the laying of hands with the prophetic message. Hallelujah. Pravachanatma kamaina vakudwara vachina. Hallelujah. Ayoka bahumanam akrupa varamanu nivu neglect che continent. Hallelujah. I am sure when God was speaking to us, we have received so many gifts. Hallelujah. So many gifts we have received. Hallelujah. When I mention so many gifts, I, 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 that can be the vision that you can do, that the mission that you want to establish or the project that you want to take over. That is the gift that God has placed in you. Devudu nilo unchina a varamu. It may be the gift of encouragement. It may be the gift of producing things, production or creativity. It may be the gift of singing. It may be the gift of preaching. It may be a gift of doing business. Whatever gift that God has placed in you through the prophetic word, Pravachanatma kamaina vakudwara mana jivitamulo ochina prati bahumana manu manamo neglect chayadanik vilu ledu. Emundi, Telvu Emundi, Pedala Hastanik Shapana Chega, Ravachanam Mulamuna, Nik Anukrahin Chabadin Anukrahim Pabadin, Nilo Una Varamuno, Lakshamuchekumo. How many of us we've received the gifts and we are still neglecting the gifts? How many of we have the gifts and we still sit and stay silent? See, sometimes it is not possible for us to do when we think physically but we have to do a warfare it is if we sit if we sit and do if arena kudurta ledu na valla gaado no see the burden that god has put in you he could have put to somebody else 
the vision that god the dream or you know the prophecy the will that god has for your life he could have had it for somebody else because you are sitting and wasting your time దేవుడు నీ జీవితంలో ఇచ్చిన ఆ యొక్క వాగ్దానం లేకపోతే ఆ ప్రవచనం లేకపోతే దేవుని చిత్తం ఏమైనా ఉండొచ్చు అది ఎవరికైనా ఇచ్చి ఉంటే బాగుండేమో ఎంతమంది మనం నిర్లక్ష్యము చేస్తున్నాము దేవుడిచ్చిన వాగ్దానమును దేవుడిచ్చిన ప్రవచనమును ఇట్ ఈస్ టైమ్ దట్ వీ డూ వార్ఫేర్ హాలీ లూ యా వెన్ వీ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ వార్ఫేర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దట్ వీ ఆర్ ఫేసింగ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ యునో నాట్ a friendly environment it is always a hostile environment hallelujah it is always a warfare mana pratikulamaina paristhitile manam face chestam you know we might not get time we might not get you know we might physically weak manam balahinulu ga undachu we might not have finances we might not have that you know uh, resources manaki sariyaina vyaktulu manalo mana jeevithamlo undakapo undachu devudu enno goppa uddeshamlo enno unnapudu vaatni poratamutho mana నెరవేర్చవలసిన వారై ఉన్నాము హాలెల్లూయా బికాస్ దెర్ ఇస్ సో మచ్ సాటిస్ఫాక్షన్ అండ్ జాయ్ ఇన్ అకంప్లిషింగ్ త్రూ ద వార్ఫేర్ హాలెలూయా బికాస్ వీ డిడ్ సంథింగ్ హాలెలూయా సి ఇఫ్ ఇఫ్ యు గెట్ ఇట్ ఫ్రీలీ యు డోంట్ హ్యావ్ దట్ కిక్ అండ్ యు డోంట్ నో ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ వాట్ యు గాట్ మనకి ఉచితంగా వచ్చినప్పుడు మనకి దాని విలువ తెలీదు పోరాటము చేసినప్పుడు ప్రతి దినము పోరాటంతో సంపాదిస్తాం కదా ఐదు వేలు పదివేలు పోరాటంతో వచ్చిన డబ్బులు ప్రతి రూపాయి విలువ తెలుసు మనకి హలే లూయా పదిలో ఎవరైనా ఇచ్చేస్తే ఒత్తిగా ఒత్త ఖర్చు పెట్టేస్తాము కానీ మనం కష్టపడి సంపాదించినప్పుడు ప్రతి రూపాయిని జాగ్రత్తగా చూసుకుంటాం హలే లూయా so that is why the warfare is there so that it will give it will show the importance of what you received because if you get that without a warfare you will not know what you have all you have you know gotten nivu pondukunna remu nivu eragavu neeku uchithamuga dorugute hallelujah so enta goppa paricharya cheyalanukunte anta goppa vela chalinchavalsi unnadi so when 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 paul was having this encounter at the streets of uh, damascus at the streets of damascus when paul had an encounter he will be taken to this priest and this priest and then he will pray and Uh, uh, god will speak to ananya and he will say this man has to you know suffer so many things for me na naamam nimittam ento himsimpa badi na koruku oka sakshi gaina ninchovali that was a prophetic word that god gave about paul to this priest so go and lay your hands on them on him hallelujah are you getting praise the lord you need the hand of god on your life hallelujah so that you will fulfill what god has for you you need the guidance of the church you need the guidance of the leadership of the church the, you know the the gift that you receive by the laying of hands is very important praise the lord hallelujah when when the man of god lays their hands on you that makes the calling ignite that initiates the process in you that sets you for greater things are you with me tonight it's not like nik nu vel podam an kaadu but when when paul received this i think in acts chapter 10 or 9 uh, or 11 i don't know acts book of acts praise the lord are you with me are you with me hallelujah hallelujah saul in damascus oh where is this portion Paul will be blinded in chapter 9 only. Mm. 
Then Saul spent several days with the disciples in Damascus at one hair. Okay, I think in verse 15. Chapter 9, verse 15. Go. Okay. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to carry my name before Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. So this man is there to carry the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the prophecies that we have, the greatest prophecy that we can get, the greatest calling that we can get is to carry the name of Jesus into Gentiles, before kings, before rulers, before governments, before societies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is the greatest prophecy that can be prophesied over your life. Hallelujah. And now the, and God is telling this man, will carry my name ina ee vyakti na naamamunu moyadaniki pilobaddadu rajula mundu anya janangamu mundu hallelujah pratikulamaina paristhutula mundu hallelujah and next verse and before the people i will show him how he must how much how he must suffer for my name aina na naamulu enta kuda enta stemma padavalsi unnadani na ayane chupistha antunna so the prophecy that we usually hear about, you will get cars and all these things. I think we have to put those aside. I, I think we need them to, you know, encourage. Meant for, but actually the real, real prophecy, the real thing is, God is calling us to be a radical believers to accomplish the work of God to bring the kingdom of God into the, pl- in, into the places where the name of Jesus has never been heard. Devini naamum ekkada ekkada ite vinapad ledo, akkada devini naamunu moskele daan ki devudu mana jeevitham lo pravachitthu nadu. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! So the talents, the, so God is telling, don't neglect the gift that I have placed in you by the laying of hands. By peddalu, chetalu, hastanik shepana walana, niku kaligina krupa varamu. Ni nirlakshamu che kwantu nadu. You cannot neglect that. Hallelujah. We cannot neglect it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We cannot neglect. Lift up your hands and say, Sorry, Lord, Holy Spirit. Sorry if I have neglected the gift. Sorry if I have neglected the talent that you have placed in me to accomplish your, your kingdom. Nioka chitta ni nerever chakunda. Oh, hallelujah. Nioka niu na jivitam la petina. Talatrin and Wada Kunte and Shemin Sendi. Nanuk Shemin Sendi. Hallelujah. If you have given me the revel- gift of revelation, if I didn't use it for your glory, Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stir up. Do not neglect your talent. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. Hallelujah. Need Jivitamolo. Devudu Unsina Athalantunu Verdamucheku. Alaksha Mucheku. Dani Hallelujah. Stir it up. Dani Repu. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the Spirit of God revive you. Let the Spirit of God revive you tonight. Let the Spirit of God revive you tonight. Right now, let, let Him, Lord, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Revive us. Revive us. Malu jivim pachayendi. Memu yemi chayavalasinado. Memu nioka chittamulo yemi chayavalasinado. Adi memu chayu laguna. Oh, hallelujah. Nivu malo unsina krupa varamunu. Hallelujah. Memu alakshamu cheka. Hallelujah. Ni koraku. Poradu varig mirmamalit chayendi. Poradu varig mirmamalit chayendi. Hallelujah. We gonna do a good warfare. We wanna do a good warfare. Lord, revive us. Revive each. And everybody who are in this place, revive people who are watching one online. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I think uh, we can turn our Bibles to Timothy chapter, Second Timothy chapter one, verse six. 
Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 6. For this reason I remind you to fan into the flame the gift of God. Which is in you through the laying of hands. Nilo unna devini krupa varamunu. Telugu lehoon. Aa hetu vucheta na hasta nikshepana valana. Niku kaligina devini krupa varamu. Prajwa rilimpa. Tonight I am reminding you. Tonight me Hallelujah. What it may be the plan of God, it may be a project, it may be a seed, whatever you want to do, hallelujah. Let it let it fan into a flame. Hallelujah. Dani Prajwarilimpa Jayunu Gaka. Hallelujah. Dani Prajwarilimpa Jayuduru Gaka. Dani Prajwarilimpa Jayuduru Gaka. Revive it. Stir it up. Stir up the gift that Unko Vajalanta. Stir up the gift that is Play that, that is in you. Hallelujah. Nilo Unna Atalantunu. Revive it. Revive it. Hallelujah. God is calling you to do that. God is calling you to do that. Hallelujah. Because we are not ordinary people. Hallelujah. We are people who know how to do the battles. Hallelujah. We are people who can defeat giants. Hallelujah. We are people who can defeat uh, the Goliaths. Hallelujah. We are people, you know, Hallelujah. Bible says, God says, I will teach your hands the battle and your fingers the warfare. Hallelujah. He will teach you. He is your teacher. My God is the teacher of my warfare. How I should battle, He will teach me how I should battle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I do not need to get worried about how I face the enemy because my trainer, my coach is my God. Hallelujah. Naku yuddhamu nerpinchu vadu. Na devudayu nadu. Hallelujah. Na chetlaku yuddhamu nu. Na velaku Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let us wage a good warfare. Kabati Induni Mitamo Manamo Manchi Poratamo Poradamo. Praise the Lord. Whatever has been placed in your life, it is not ordinary. When you honor that, you won't say stunned. You won't stay silent. When you know what has been placed to you in your life, when you know what kind of revelation God has brought into your life, when you know what kind of word God is bringing into your life, you will honor it and start acting on it. నీ జీవితములో దేవుడు ఏ వాకునైతే తెస్తున్నాడు ఏమైతే ఉంచి ఉన్నాడు ఏ కృపా వరమునైతే నీ జీవితంలో ఉంచి ఉన్నాడు నీవు ఎరగగలిగితే నీ కన్లు తెరవబడితే నీవు దాన్ని సన్మానిస్తావు నీవు దాన్ని గౌరవిస్తావు నీవు కూర్చొని గమ్ము నుండే వాడిగా ఉండవు కానీ పోరాడుచున్న యుద్ధుడుగా ఉంటావు ప్రైజ్ ద లాడ్ హాలెలూయా గాడ్ హస్ కాల్డ్ అస్ ఫర్ దిస్ and that is why the prophecies are so we see three places where the where the gift of god has been given to us through the prophecies and the laying of hands of the elders hallelujah and that prophetic word and prophetic message is a direction and a guidance for the warfare that you have to do Praise the Lord. So therefore, God promised them the nation of Canaan full of honey and milk. But it took the warfare and the good battle of team of Joshua and Caleb to capture that place. Hallelujah. They would do. Miku 
పాలు తేనెలు ప్రవహించు దేశమును నేను ఇస్తానని వాగ్దానము చేసి ఉన్నాడు బట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ జస్ట్ కమ్ యాజ్ ఎ గిఫ్ట్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి వాన్ త్రూ ద బ్యాటిల్ సో వారు యుద్ధము చేసి ఆ ప్రాంతములను స్వాధీనము చేసుకొని వాటిని ఆ బహుమానాన్ని పొందుకున్న వారుగా ఉన్నారు హాలి లూయా సో గాడ్ ప్రొఫెస్ అట్ దట్ టు ఏబ్రహాం ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ గో ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ దే వెస్ క్యాప్టివ్ ఫ్రీ బై మోజెస్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ ఫార్టీ ఇయర్స్ ఇన్ ద లీడర్షిప్ ఆఫ్ జాషువా దే బ్యాటిల్ త్రూ ఆల్ ద నేషన్స్ and they got that place so it going to take some blood out of you it is going to take some strength out of you you might get weak in the battle but the victory is yours but it is not easy it is warfare it is going to bleed it is going to take you you know in tough conditions pratikulamaina paristhitula gunda devudu ninnu teeskelavalsina vaade unnadu kani hallelujah yuddham yehova adi hallelujah nee pakshamuna aina poradu vaadiga unnadu hallelujah praise the lord ninnu balaparchu vaada aina hallelujah nee chethulaku yuddham nerpinchu vaada aina nee vellaku poratamu nerpinchu vaada aina ninnu paiki lethivanatu vaadu aina yehova nissiye neeku jayamu nichu vaadu do amen hallelujah praise the lord stand up if you received this word and if you received if you ever received a prophecy in your i know that you guys received some kind of promise or some kind of prophecy but tonight let god bring that prophecy and put it in front of your eyes so that what battle you have to do in your life let god remind you what battle you have to face e poratamu nu poradavalasi undo devudu ninnu oh hallelujah adi chupinchunu gaaka hallelujah nee kanna munduku devudu చేసిన ఆ వాగ్దానాలు ఆ ప్రవచనాలు తీసుకొచ్చి నేను రేపును గాక ఓ స్టిర్ అప్ ద గిఫ్ట్ దట్ ఇస్ ఇన్ యూ స్టిర్ ఇట్ అప్ స్టిర్ ఇట్ అప్ స్టిర్ ఇట్ అప్ హాలి లూయా స్టిర్ అప్ ద వెల్స్ 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 రైట్ నౌ స్టిర్ ఇట్ అప్ స్టిర్ ఇట్ అప్ స్టిర్ ఇట్ అప్ వే ద వెల్ మైట్ హావ్ బి ద ఎనిమీ హావ్ మైట్ హావ్ పుట్ దట్ మట్ ఇన్ దట్ వెల్స్ బట్ ఇట్స్ టైం టు డిగ్ ఇట్ అగైన్ స్టిర్ అప్ ద వెల్స్ రిమూవ్ ద మట్ hallelujah remove the earth that was filled in the wells hallelujah stir it up stir up the oh hallelujah the water might have stopped because of the mud but it is time to dig the wells again it is time to revive the gift again hallelujah it is time to stir up the gifts again hallelujah hallelujah he who believes in me out of his belly rivers of living water shall flow shall gush out every well that has been dried up every gift that has been dried up oh hallelujah right now let it stir up oh let the spirit of god stir up let the spirit of god stir up oh hallelujah that the, the gift that ha- that he has placed in you that the vision that he has placed in you the will that he have for you the plans that he have for you let it, let him stir up let the spirit of god stir up those things shada ma khora ba sikhe the da ba reba do na si ba lo take it hai zaba ra ba la the da bo oh hallelujah lord we might have forgotten what we had have to do what we have to do lord we are sorry we are stirring up our wells again we are stirring up our wells again we are cleaning the wells again we are cleaning our gifts again we are polishing the talents again hallelujah whatever you have placed in me na jeevithamlo ni vittina pratidi nenu tirigi ujjeevimpa cheyamanu prarthana cheyichuna tirigi prajwarillimpa cheyutaku nenu prayasa padtanu nenu prayasa padtanu nenu prayas padtanu hallelujah oh hallelujah the battle might be tough but i will win it because you are by my side nivu na pakshana undaga naku virodhi evadu oh hallelujah when god is for me who can be against me hallelujah jesus we give you glory god ప్రతి ఒక్కరి జీవితంలో ఏ సయాన్ని వెత్తిన ప్రతి కృపావరమును రేపమని అడుగుచున్నాం పర పరిశుద్ధాత్మదేవ రేపండి హ్యావ్ యూ హ్యావ్ యూ హ్యావ్ యూ బై 
గివ్ హోలీ స్పిరిట్ సమ్ రూమ్ పరిశుద్ధ ఆత్మదేవుకి కొంచెం నీ జీవితంలో పని చేయటకు సహాయమును కోరు సహాయమును కోరు సహాయమును కోరు సహాయమును కోరు సహాయమును కోరు you are not called to be defeated oh you are no you have not been prophesied so that you would be defeated hallelujah if you would be defeated it wasn't uh, god wouldn't have prophesied hallelujah you are called to be a victor victor hallelujah you are not called a victim god has called you a victor hallelujah you were called to defeat uh, giants you are called to do mighty battles you were called to do warfare hallelujah for the glory of jesus yesaya namamu mahima nimittamu hallelujah manchi poratamu poradutaku neevu pilobaddavu lord i place this people these spirits into thy mighty hands parishuddha atma deva ee aatmalanu nee hastalaku appu cheptunnam varulo unchina prati darshanam varulo unchina krupa varamu prajvarilimpa cheyabadunu gaaka esaya parishuddha atma deva varulo unchina prati varamunu meeru repamani mem aduguchunnamu repamani aduguchunnamu every womb that has been closed every womb that has been barren let it open right now in jesus name every gift that has been barren that has become barren you you might have had the womb but that might be barren let it open you might have the gift that might and that 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 was barren till now hallelujah i open it in the name of jesus christ muya badina prati garbham therabadunu gaaka prati talantu తలాంతు కలిగి కూడా దాన్ని వాడలేకుండా అది ఫలభరితంగా లేకుండా ఎన్ని దినాలు ఉండొచ్చు కానీ అది ఏసు నామములో ఫలభరితంగా మార్చబడును గాక వి థ్యాంక్ యూ లాడ్ ఫర్ యువర్ వర్డ్ వి గివ్ యూ గ్లోరీ అండ్ ఆన్ ఇన్ జీసస్ మైటి నేమ్ బి యాస్ కెన్ ప్రే కమ్ ఆన్ లిఫ్ట్ అవర్ స్టార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రైస్ టు జీసస్ హాలే లూయా